A convicted felon still serving his sentence is running a scheme that appears to be misleading Portland people. On Consumer Close-Up, Randy Ripplinger invest, investigates rather the United Film Club and the people running the operation. Now, this has the makings of quite a story. That's right. Dad, to the irony, he's running this scheme while serving his sentence on a work release program. Many Portland residents have already been contacted by this man's company. It goes by several names, but they always contact you by leaving a card at your door that says you have a delivery coming. Uh, especially, you know, being around Christmas time, uh, I expected it to uh, be a, a delivery notice for a package or something. But however, there was no, no identification on the, uh, the notice. What Sonny Boyd found at his door was this delivery notice. It says they missed him, but if he will call, he may claim his gift. When he made an appointment, not a delivery person, but a saleswoman showed up. A home video camera taped her as she tried to sell Boyd a membership in United Film Club. The price of the membership included a leather-bound photo album, some coupons to get a roll of film when you buy processing from the club, a camera, and 200 8 by 10 enlargements. The sales lady said the whole deal was worth more than $2,000, but Sonny could buy it for $895. It wasn't a very good value because I could get the processing and the film for still a, a dollar to two dollars less than what she was having. I can't think of anyone who, <laughs> over even a period of 10 years, would go through 208 by 10s. Boyd declined the offer and reminded the saleswoman, Norma Crocker, she owed him a gift. Then she signed a certificate for the gift and left. But the certificate she gave him said he must pay $4.95 more to a firm on Southeast 122nd Avenue. We went to that office and asked, what's the gift? I've never seen any of the gifts myself. We, we can't, you know. No, it, it's, it varies. It depends on, you know, there's a list of 20 gifts on the card, and it depends on that. We were told we must talk to the area manager, Ralph Prentice. In fact, Ralph Prentice has operated another Southeast Portland business five years ago. Sunset Mobile Homes was raided by Lawman in June of 1983, who confiscated records and impounded mobile homes. They accused the operators of selling mobile homes and stealing the money from the owners. Court records showed 28 victims who lost thousands of dollars to the Prentice's scheme. Ralph Prentice, with other members of his family and staff, were arrested and charged with theft, fraud, and racketeering. Eventually, Ralph Prentice was convicted and sentenced to one year at the Multnomah County Restitution Center, where he is on a work release program. County corrections officials said Ralph Prentice has been reporting to and from work each day since he was sentenced to the work release center last June. But today, when we told them the name of the company Prentice is working for, corrections officials said that isn't what he told us. Employees at Prentice's place of work said he was in Seattle today, but we found him in his office. He declined to talk to us. Can you ask her, answer a few questions about the solicitations these people are sending out? Not right now, because I'm in a meeting. We did talk to another employee who claimed that the film package was worth almost $4,000. He said the price was justified by the superior quality of their product. You can make your own judgment about the value of the company's photo club package, but always take the time to check out the product and the company associated with any program that you aren't familiar with. Uh, if this gentleman is on a work release program, what has been the response from his supervisors from that program? As a matter of fact, it was his supervisors who identified photographs of Ralph Prentice for us, and after we showed them the material and the program he was involved in, they said they were interested.